According to Danish Europop band Aqua, life in plastic is fantastic, and although I myself am not familiar with the concept, someone who is is Barbara Millicent Roberts of Willows, Wisconsin, who you probably know better by the mononym Barbie. Created by businesswoman Ruth Handler and inspired by German doll Bild Lilly, Barbie was first introduced in 1959, and since then over one billion Barbie dolls have been sold. She's had countless different careers in everything from politics to the arts, is friends with dozens of celebrities including the likes of Cher, Amelia Earhart and Queen Elizabeth II, and she's even been to space. There's little wonder then that with so many exploits to her name, the blonde bombshell has dipped her immovable polyethylene toes into the world of video games. And since the Barbie movie starring Margot Robbie and Ryan Gosling is about to debut, we thought it was a great time to see which ones are totally glam and which are a complete sham. Before we get into it though, we probably better establish the rules of engagement, hadn't we? We've trawled the annals of history to find every video game that features Barbie, and have ranked them from completely awful to kind of passable. We have taken the decision to exclude edutainment games since their focus is more on educating the player than entertaining them, as well as any title that doesn't offer anything beyond dressing up Barbie, as those are more pieces of software than they are games. Furthermore, we won't be including mobile games, mostly because this list is long enough as is, but also because they're all really quite plops anyway. In terms of how we've ranked the games, we've sorted them by critical reception. Though it's worth noting that many of these games did not get our usual requisite seven professional reviews, so make of that what you will. Additionally, some entries were so obscure that no professional critics took the time to review them at all, and as such, we've had to take the opinions of players and, in one instance, just make our own judgments. We fed all of these entries into our proprietary ranking machine, which is complete with complex algorithms for such instances, and it has deemed that any game with only user reviews will rank lower than its score might suggest it should, owing to the likelihood that some of the players writing the reviews might not have been taking things overly seriously. Everyone happy with all of that? Good. Let's rank them. I'm Blonde Bimbo Ben, and I'm the always ready to party Peter from Triple Jump, and here is every Barbie video game ranked from worst to best. Number 42 Barbie 1984 C64 the first game on today's list was actually Barbie's original foray into the world of video games, so I suppose in that sense you could say that over the years things have only gotten better for old Babs, eh? In Barbie, the Commodore 64 exclusive, players control the titular doll as she prepares for and goes on dates with her boyfriend Ken. The core gameplay loop sees Ken calling Barbie to invite her on a date and players must then make sure she is properly dressed and styled for the occasion because if she's not, the date will be cancelled. Try on outfits pick out shoes and change up Barbie's hair at the salon, you know, the only hobbies that girls have. To be clear, that was sarcasm. Although some were impressed by the graphics and sound, even at the time of its release the game was considered sexist, with critics complaining that all Barbie did was cater to the whims of her boyfriend. Furthermore, the gameplay was severely lacking and reviewers felt that the children the game was aimed at would soon grow bored of it. Not sure why they would think that, of course. Everyone knows that all girls think about is shoes and boys. Again, sarcasm. Number 41. Barbie Groom and Glam Pups 2010. Wii, DS and 3DS There are some who feel that the Wii and DS were vehicles for little but shovelware, and if their only point of reference is Barbie Groom and Glam Pups, then I can see why they would think that. In this catastrophic canine caper, players choose from one of six breeds of puppy and are responsible for grooming it, teaching it tricks and dressing it up in cutesy outfits, all under the watchful eye of their mentor, Barbie. Sadly, many of the options are locked in the beginning, which means that players have to put in some serious time in order to access every breed and accessory. The few critics that subjected themselves to the game agreed that it was a fairly soulless affair and offered little to keep the audience entertained. Though there were unlockables, the gameplay was so dull that it wasn't worth bothering with them, and after a while, Barbie's constant upbeat attitude and shrill voice became grating. If you do happen to own a copy of the 3DS version though, it might be worth sticking it on eBay. The game is really quite rare and a copy sold in 2022 for $1,600. Go on, that's a holiday. Number 40. Barbie Team Gymnastics 2001 PC Oh yeah, here we go, sports time! I've done gymnastics before. 
never played a gymnastics video game, so I'm going to give this everything I've got! Barbie Team Gymnastics sees players readying a gymnastics team for upcoming contests by constructing routines for the girls to perform, though the actual interaction required from the player is quite minimal. Shockingly, critics weren't exactly queuing up to review this one, so we've had to form our own opinions, and those are thus. Barbie Team Gymnastics is a game, and I say that in the absolute loosest sense of the word, as the actual gameplay comes down to nothing more than pressing a couple of keys at the right moment. If that isn't enough to cause you to burn the CD-ROM, then the narration surely will be as Barbie and her pal never shut up. The graphics are there, and they are very pink, which is certainly on brand, but beyond that I'm struggling to come up with anything positive to say. User reviews are much more complimentary of the game, with one player so desperate to get the game working on a more modern machine that they even sought out a patch for it. I suppose Barbie would admire the determination, even if we don't. Number 39. Detective Barbie The Mystery Cruise 2000. PlayStation before any fans of Knives Out or anything by Agatha Christie rush out to buy this one, allow me to direct your attention to its position on this list. Yeah, save your money and your sanity. In the PlayStation exclusive Detective Barbie the Mystery Cruise, Barbie grabs her magnifying glass and gets to work trying to discover who has stolen three pieces of valuable artwork from a cruise ship's gallery. Using her infrared lipstick, yes, really, Barbie must search for clues and try to catch the thief. Alas, the game is less Death on the Nile and more Missed the Mark by a Country Mile. Again, critical reviews are a bit thin on the ground, and the one user review that we could find gave the game five stars, but went on to share that the five-year-old for whom the game was purchased had showed no interest in it. The simplistic puzzles and minigames would almost certainly have spoken to a young Barbie-loving audience, but poor graphics, dull gameplay and a lack of challenge would have prevented anyone else from having any sort of fun. Suffice it to say that this is one title that should be taken out to sea and thrown overboard preferably with pink cinder blocks tied to its feet. Number 38. Barbie Fashion Pack Games 2000. Game Boy Color I'll be honest, the description of Barbie Fashion Pack Games sounds like a hallucinogen-induced fever dream. Are you ready? Play the exciting games inside Barbie's virtual pink backpack. Create virtual performances by filling bottles with moving perfume drops. Match the floating t-shirts. Do you see what I mean? It all sounds completely unhinged. Unfortunately, the game itself is not nearly as exciting as it's been made to sound. The title is comprised of a selection of mini-games that include such pursuits as shooting hearts with a lipstick, blowing things to make a pearl necklace, well, hey, and helping a sentient bag to eat shoes again unhinged. As was the case with our previous two entries, critics weren't exactly forthcoming with the reviews, and those we did find weren't exactly kind to the title. The general consensus was that the game was fine for small children but had little to offer anyone else. The minigames ran the gamut of quality from mediocre to abysmal, the graphics weren't exactly up to much, and the sound was truly grating, though arguably the Game Boy Color itself was as much to blame as the game was. I think it's fair to say that Fashion Pack Games is one title that can pack off. Number 37. Barbie in the Twelve Dancing Princesses 2006. PS2, Game Boy Advance, DS and PC We come now to the first of the movie tie-ins on this list, and we all know how good they usually are, don't we? In Barbie and the Twelve Dancing Princesses, the eponymous doll takes on the role of Princess Genevieve, who is trapped inside a magical world by her father's cousin, Duchess Rowena. In order to save her dear pops, who has been poisoned by Rowena, she and her sisters must collect mystical water and escape the realm. There are a number of differences between the PS2 and PC and the GBA and DS versions of the game, and though the story is the same, the PS2 and PC editions are 3D action adventures, whilst the GBA and DS offerings are 2D side-scrolling platformers. What they all have in common, though, is that they're all bloody awful. Critics found that the gameplay was frustrating, and in places far too difficult for the kiddos the game was aimed at, the soundtrack was unbearable and made players incredibly grateful to whoever invented the mute button, and the animations made the characters look more like the knockoff toys you'd find at Poundland than actual Barbie toys. In Poundland, they're called Barboo Dolls. Number 36. Barbie Super Sports 1999. PlayStation and PC Sometimes you'll load a game up and get a sense from the menu alone that the title you're about to experience is going to be a quality one. Other times you'll load up a game and find that the devs have used Comic Sans and will know you're going to be in for a bad time. Barbie Super Sports falls into the latter category, by the way. Released for PlayStation in 1999 or 2000 if you want to get in Europe about this, and for PC in 2001, Barbie Super Sports allows players to join Barbie as she tries her hand at a whopping two whole sports. The skating portion of the game sees players controlling Barbie as she wheels around and attempts to collect golden tickets, whilst the snowboarding part of the game has Barbie sliding around as she attempts to collect balloons. 
Such variety. Unsurprisingly, critics were not blown away by Barbie Super Sports, admonishing its shallow gameplay, middling graphics and animations, and bland soundtrack. The game was completely lacking in challenge and entertainment value, and only the most diehard of Barbie fans could have eked any sort of fun from the title. Barbie Super Sports? More like Barbie Super Spore Offering. Got him. Number 35. Barbie Jet Set and Style. 2011. Wii and DS. Hey Ben! I hear you cry. I thought you weren't including makeover games! Well, we're mostly not, but Barbie Jet Set and Style does at least offer players different objectives in different locations, so we're going to let it slide. It's on thin ice, though. Barbie Jet Set and Style for the Wii and DS gives players the opportunity, if you can call it that, to tour the world with Barbie and help young women by styling their hair and doing their makeup for them. I'd like to tell you there's more to it than that, but that really is all the game has to offer. Go to a city, cut some hair, then rinse and repeat elsewhere, pun very much intended. It's no surprise that critics were unimpressed by the game, slating its lack of game gameplay variety which could be described as repetitive at its best and downright tedious at its worst. The graphics didn't fare much better with reviewers, who criticised the fact that most of the backgrounds were just fixed images and they weren't impressed with the soundtrack either, though they did at least recognise the game for offering different music depending upon the city that the player was in at the time. It's not much praise, but you have to take it where you can get it, I suppose. Number 34. Barbie Race and Ride. 1999. PlayStation. Oh, hey, would you look at that? It's a Worst Games Ever alumnus. Indeed, very much living up to our mantra of not the worst game ever but worse than most is Barbie Race and Ride, a title that Wikipedia describes as a horse-related game, though I can't say we're overly familiar with the genre here at Team Triple Jump. In Barbie Race and Ride, players get to choose from one of four horses – death, famine, war, and pestilence. No, hang on, I'm told that's something else entirely. My apologies. Players do get to choose from one of four horses, but unlike the four horsemen of the apocalypse, these particular equines are all functionally the same. Once they've picked their horse and taken a quick riding lesson, it's off to the trails, of which there are, once again, four, though only two allow players to race. It might shock you to learn that Barbie Race and Ride didn't go down particularly well with reviewers. They considered the game to be lacking in challenge, ugly, and completely devoid of anything that might make it fun. As has been the case for most of these titles so far, some did feel that it would probably have gone over well with small children, but everyone else would have been racing back to the game store to get a refund. Number 33. Barbie Magic Genie Adventure. 2000. Game Boy Color. We come now to the first of two genie-based adventures on this list, though the only wish you'll have after experiencing this one is for it to stop. In this single-player action-adventure title developed by Vicarious Visions, yes, that one, Bobby must visit five different cities in order to recover magical lamps that have been stolen from her friends by the evil genie Cardal. Gameplay consists of flying around on a magic carpet and taking part in mini-games. The general mood of the few that did review the game was that it wasn't completely awful, but equally, it wasn't very good either. The colourful graphics would certainly have appealed to the younger demographic, as would the lack of challenge, but anyone but the absolute youngest players would soon have gotten bored of it. Fetch quests outside of the main missions were peppered throughout, but there was no incentive to complete them, and the extra flying carpets that were unlocked for completing the minigames on a higher difficulty were nothing more than cosmetics. If you have a young child who's impressed by bright colours, then Barbie Magic Genie Adventure might just keep them entertained, though that said, so would one of those multicoloured beach windmills and they'd do it for a fraction of the cost. Number 32. Adventures with Barbie Ocean Discovery 1997 Game Boy Color and PC We've made no secret over the years of how we here at Team Triple Jump feel about water levels, so when we came across a game that's basically just one big water level, it filled us with unbridled rage. The PC version of Adventures with Barbie Ocean Discovery asks players to explore each underwater stage until they happen upon clues, whereas the Game Boy Color edition sees them hunting for mini-games which will, once beaten, give players the item they need in order to progress the story. Aside from the graphics, which are considerably more advanced in the PC version and the presence or lack of mini-games, the only real difference between the two titles is the fact that Barbie has a dolphin pal in the PC edition. Whilst the game was thought to be a little on the lacklustre side, it was praised by some outlets for giving players something more substantial content-wise than the usual pink fluff that they'd come to expect from titles bearing Barbie's name. As much as critics were impressed by Barbie's marine biologist credentials, however, they were unable to ignore the fact that the game was little more than an overly simplistic treasure hunt for shiny objects. Still, at least it didn't force players to use lipstick for something other than its intended purpose, so there we are. Number 31. Barbie Horse Adventures Riding Camp 
2008, PlayStation 2, Wii, DS and PC. The first of the Barbie Horse Adventures series to make it onto our list also happens to be the most recent. Released in 2008, the game simulates exactly what it's like to own your very own horse, only without the considerable costs and the poo. Players can select from a variety of different breeds, feed, groom and train them and, of course, ride them. Ribbons can be earned for putting in a particularly good performance and it wouldn't be a Barbie game without a dress-up element so players can also customise both Barbie and her equine companion with a variety of items. When judging Riding Camp as a game for adults, critics agreed that it was just awful. However, when putting themselves in the shoes of the little girls that it was aimed at, they found it to be just awful too. The graphics were bright and colourful enough to capture young one's attention but the gameplay was repetitive, the controls were a bit wonky, and the time limits for the races were far too generous, meaning that it lacked challenge. The general consensus was that there were worse things to buy for a small child, but there were also far better things, like a game where the character models aren't haunting. Number 30. Barbie Fashion Show 2004 PC Yes, I know this looks like it could be a makeover game, but it does include unlockables, so it does have something of a name beyond make these women look nice, so again, we'll let it slide. In Barbie Fashion Show, it's up to players to help Barbie and friends take the fashion world by storm by designing outfits to show off on the runway. Preset items of clothing such as trousers, shirts and dresses can all be painted with a variety of colours, prints can be added and decals can be stamped on as well. That's not all though, because once players are done designing, it's time to take to the runway and it's up to them to design the fashion shows as well. The more shows they complete, the more styles of clothing they can unlock. Unfortunately, professional reviews of Barbie Fashion Show are a bit thin on the ground, so yet again we must draw our own conclusions. If your kiddo is the creative type with an interest in clothes, then I'm sure they'll get some entertainment out of Barbie Fashion Show. Still, the appeal is rather limited and the design options doubly so. I'd tell you all to forget about this one, but considering how little internet presence Barbie Fashion Show currently enjoys, it seems like the gaming world already has. Number 29. Barbie and Her Sisters Puppy Rescue 2015 PS3, Xbox 360, Wii, Wii U, 3DS, and PC. We come now to the most recent Barbie title on this list, 2015's Barbie and Her Sisters Puppy Rescue, a game in which Barbie and her sisters rescue puppies. It really is the Ron Seal of Barbie video games. Players join Barbie, Skipper, Stacy, and Chelsea as they search their town for clues pertaining to the whereabouts of a bunch of missing pups. Once found, they must take them to the local rescue centre for a checkup, puppy camp to learn new tricks, or the puppy groomer to get groomed. Puppy Rescue earned middling review scores from critics who felt that its gameplay was far too simplistic and repetitive, though they did concede that, like some of the previous titles on this list, small children might just go for that. In addition, the environments were considered to be quite appealing, as were the town exploration segments where Barbie gets to cycle about the place. But these positives weren't enough to elevate the game from mediocrity. The dogs are quite cute though, so we've at least got to give the game that. But we do wonder why they've gotten lost in the first place. Gross incompetence over at the shelter, clearly. Cut the funding and get those dogs on the streets. Adopt, don't shop. Number 28. Barbie and the Three Musketeers 2009 Wii, DS and PC Yes, you did hear that correctly. In this movie tie-in title, Barbie and her friends are indeed putting their own spin on Alexander Dumas's classic tale, The Three Musketeers. In this 2D side-scroller, Barbie takes on the role of Corinne d'Artagnan, a 17-year-old girl who lives on a farm with her mother, but dreams of becoming a musketeer like her father. She teams up with Renee, Vivica, and Aramina, and together they aim to put a stop to these schemes of Philippe, who plans to kill the prince and take his power. Oh, and there's also a weapon-wielding cat, because... Because. Just because. The game garnered middling reviews, and while critics agreed that the message of girl power was a good one to spread to the intended target audience, overall it fell rather flat. The controls were simple but a little on the clunky side, the platforming proved vexatious even for the adults reviewing the game, and often it was unclear what the objective even was. Older Barbie fans might have enjoyed the challenge that Barbie and the Three Musketeers provided, but on the whole, most people would be better off giving it an Aramis. <laughs> 
little Three Musketeers humor for you there. Number 27, Barbie Game Girl, 1992, Game Boy. <laughs> Get it? Because it's like Game Boy, but Barbie's a girl, and the title's aimed at girls, so it's for the Game Boy, but it's Game Girl. Don't worry if it's gone over your head, though. It's a bit of a thinker. Released in 1992 as an exclusive for Nintendo's monochrome handheld console, Barbie Game Girl is a title of the 2D platform persuasion, and sees the eponymous heroine embarking on a dangerous adventure to find... Ugh, an outfit for her date with Ken. Jeez, these game devs in the early 90s sure did think girls were vapid, huh? Sadly, what should be a quick trip to the mall actually turns into quite the ordeal, and players will find themselves trying to fend off floating cubes of sugar, jellyfish, and even sharks. See, this is why I buy all my clothes online. Though some critics recognized that Barbie Game Girl was making an attempt to get girls into gaming, which was and still is a good thing, they felt that the attempt was a bit of a shaky one, on account of the fact that the title just wasn't all that fun to play. The simplistic gameplay and the theming were applauded, but overall the game was quite dull, and if anything, probably put off its intended audience from trying any further video games. Number 26, Barbie, 1991, NES and PC. The second game on this list to be titled simply Barbie, this one comes to us from the distant past of 1991, and is, according to critics anyway, almost thrice as good as Barbie 1984. Being thrice as good as rubbish, though, is still pretty damn not great, so do temper your expectations, I beg you. In this platformer, Barbie dreams that she's been invited to a grand ball. But the dream soon turns into a nightmare when she realizes <gasps> she's got nothing nice to wear. Oh, for crying out loud! The aim of the game, then, is to traverse the three dream worlds in order to gather accessories so that Barbie has the best chance of wooing Ken. I say again, over my shoulder, for crying out loud! Despite its somewhat sexist premise, Barbie got an okay reception from critics, who were pleased with the gameplay, which offered more than just outfit changes and hairstyling, though admittedly not much more. One critic summed the game up as much better than you'd probably think, though once again, I'd remind you that if you think a game's gonna be really rubbish and then it's better than that, it's probably still quite rubbish. Number 25, Barbie Groovy Games, 2002, PlayStation and Game Boy Advance. Get ready for some fun now, because it's time to get groovy! Are you getting groovy? You better be getting groovy. In fact, by now, you better be groovy, not just getting groovy. If you're not all groovy yet, I'll be very cross when I find out. Barbie Groovy Games is a collection comprising a whopping nine mini-games, all of which are based on popular favorites. Daisy Darby, for example, combines Hangman with horses. In a much less grisly way than that sounds. Sorry, I didn't mean to put it like that. Conga Line is basically Snake with more dancing and fewer anacondas, and Checkers is... Well, actually, that's just checkers. I don't know what else you could expect from that. Though some critics did enjoy the simple fun that the minigames brought to players, particularly as they could be dropped in and out of, which was perfect for younger gamers with short attention spans, others weren't overly impressed by the simplicity, and admonished the title's lack of variety. Additional complaints were leveled at the game's perceived lack of personality, as well as quality of life issues, like the length of time that the Your Turn screen lingered between rounds of play. Still, if you feel that you just have to play tic-tac-toe with Barbie, then I suppose you've got no other option than this. Number 24, Barbie Magic Genie Bottle, 2000, PC. No, you're not going mad. Barbie has indeed had two separate brushes with genies throughout her lengthy video game career, and this one is marginally better than the last. In the PC-exclusive Barbie Magic Genie Bottle, the player character takes an ornate bottle to an antique shop for appraisal, and upon rubbing it, they're greeted by Barbie, in genie form naturally, who informs them that an evil genie has stolen her powers, and there won't be any wishes for you unless you retrieve them. The game actually came with a bottle peripheral, which admittedly looked more like a fancy lighthouse, that players could connect to their PC and rub in order to summon Genie Barbie. Barbie. Professional reviews here were harder to track down than a real magic lamp, or bottle rather, but thankfully a number of players have taken to the internet to share their thoughts, and those thoughts are 
mixed. Some praised the game's colourful graphics and the simplicity of the gameplay, while others complained that it was too simplistic even for the kiddos, and that the bottle peripheral didn't even work properly. I suppose we should use one of our three wishes to wish for a better game. Number 23. Barbie Dreamhouse Party 2013. Wii, Wii U, DS, 3DS, and PC. Oh, yay, another minigame collection, can't wait. Based on the CGI web series Barbie Life in the Dreamhouse, Barbie Dreamhouse Party sees Barbie and her friends playing a variety of party games in order to restore their HAL 9000-like robot butler to its normal mode after Raquel accidentally switches it to party mode. From there, the minigames commence, and oh boy or girl or other, are they a riot! From Makeup Madness, in which players try to apply makeup faster than their friends, to Dress It Up, where the aim is to find the right accessories for the girls' outfits, there's a whole smorgasbord of somewhat sexist games at which to try your hand. Generally, the critical reception was middling for this one, with reviewers deeming it passable but reminding readers that there were far better family-friendly party game collections out there. The complaints were mostly levelled towards the lack of variety in the games, the repetitiveness of the gameplay, and the inconsistent frame rate. Still, if your kids and their friends were really into Barbie and just wanted to play with makeup, this was a hell of a lot less messy than letting them loose in your lipstick collection. Number 22. Barbie Fashion Show – An Eye for Style 2008 – DS and PC According to our pals over at Wikipedia, Barbie Fashion Show and Eye for Style is a strategy game. But before you get all excited thinking this is going to be like Civilization or Total War, I want you to take a breath and remember where we are and what we're doing today. The aim of the game is to design clothes which fit a specific brief given at the beginning of each level. Choose the models to wear them, style their hair, and ensure that the music, lights, and stages provide the right ambiance for the clothes that are on show. There's no scoring involved, and as such, there are no win conditions, so the only way that players can really lose is if they're not having fun. And they might just have fun here, for a bit, before the novelty wears off. Professional reviewers weren't super impressed by the game, and while they praised it for working as a game should, i.e. it was without bugs and glitches, they felt that its real lack of challenge made it a bit of a letdown. Young, creative children with an interest in fashion might have had a nice time designing the clothes and showing them off, but there wasn't really much appeal to anyone else. Number 21. Barbie Beach Vacation 2001 – PC if you're looking to get away for a while but can't afford an expensive holiday, why not try your hand at Barbie Beach Vacation? It won't simulate what it's like to relax in a tropical luxury resort, but it will serve as a reminder that no matter how bad your life is, it could always be worse because you could be forced to play this game for the rest of your days. Alright, fine, this one isn't actually that bad. Our writer is just getting sick of the constant pink-tinted peppiness she's been forced to endure at the hands of Barbie and co. It's fine, we'll just get her to watch all of the Saw films back to back later on, and she'll be right as rain, I'm sure. But back to the game, Barbie Beach Vacation sees the titular doll heading off to the coast to enjoy a variety of activities, including water skiing, scuba diving, and sandcastle building. Oh, and there's a dress-up segment as well, because of course there flipping well is. Critics found plenty of things to, uh, beach about when it came to this game, and concluded that the game was mediocre at best. And whilst the different activities would undoubtedly keep a five-year-old entertained for a while, the overall appeal of the title was quite narrow. Still, it functioned just fine, and the graphics were okay for the early 2000s, so really, things could have been a lot, lot worse. Number 20. Barbie Horse Adventures Wild Horse Rescue 2003 – PS2 and Xbox Oh yeah, here we go, horse time! We can only assume that the overlap on the Barbie fans versus horse girls Venn diagram is pretty substantial, if not just a circle, because equine-based titles make up more than 15% of the entries on this list. Seems that kids who like Barbie also really like horses as well. <laughs> Who'd have thunk it? 
In Barbie Horse Adventures Wild Horse Rescue, the aim is to, and hold on to your hat because this might just shock you, rescue wild horses. I know, groundbreaking stuff. When a lightning storm frightens a bunch of horses, it falls to Barbie to find them all, calm them down, and lead them to hitching posts. And yes, before anyone panics, you can find coins to buy new outfits for Barbie. The critical reception of the game was a bit of a mixed bag, and while some reviewers described the game as entertaining, with one even going as far to say that the audio was very tolerable, others felt that the gameplay was uninteresting and bland. Additionally, some other naysayers <laughs> Like, like horses, found the controls awkward, and that the amount of backtracking required to collect all of the coins made the title drag on for far too long. Sorry, so I'm still thinking about that naysayers joke. It was just so good. Number 19. Barbie as Sleeping Beauty, 1999. PC. Here we have yet another title that showcases Barbie's acting chops, only this time she's taking on the role of Sleeping Beauty, a classic tale of magic, curses, and kissing unconscious women without their consent. Released for PC in 1999, Barbie as Sleeping Beauty focuses on Princess Rose, played by Barbie, a young royal who is cursed by a malevolent fairy at birth as revenge for not getting an invite to the child's birthday party. Talk about an overreaction. Players take part in a number of activities pertaining to the story, which include joining Rose as she makes a dress and crown and plays hide and seek with the good fairies, and helping the prince, played by Ken of course, to navigate a maze of thorn bushes in order to reach a snoozing Rose and give it a smooch. Critics largely enjoyed the gameplay, though they did point out that it was lacking challenge, presumably because it was aimed at young players, and they felt that the actual story fell a bit flat too, considering that Rose was only asleep for a few hours rather than 100 years as in the original fairy tale. Honestly, she probably got less sleep in this game than I got last night, and I wasn't cursed. And even then, if some random royal yahoo had come and woken me up with a snog, I'd have been pretty peeved. Number 18, Barbie Pet Rescue, 2001, Game Boy Color and PC. Now far be it from me to accuse Barbie of being up to anything shady, but it feels like animals go missing a lot when she's around. All I'm saying is, if you've got a cat or a dog at home, make sure it's microchipped before you invite Margot Robbie round for afternoon tea. Anyway, in Barbie Pet Rescue, players control Barbie as she sets out on a quest to rescue a variety of animals after they're spooked by a thunderstorm. Sound familiar? God, not a great deal of creativity in the Barbie video game game writer's room, is there? Answer the phone to find out which unlucky critter to find next, search for the missing creature, and if they're not really into being rescued, solve a puzzle to ensure their safety. The two versions of the title, PC and Game Boy Color, are very similar gameplay-wise, but the GBC players do get to enjoy a different story as well as side-scrolling sections and mini-games. Both editions, though, were considered to be reasonably fun for young kids who just wanted to while away a few hours with some bright, colourful, cutesy fun. Sadly, it was on the short side and offered very little in the way of a challenge for older children. Still, it's pink, it's cheery, and it has a bunch of cute animals, and sometimes that's all you need. Number 17. Detective Barbie in the Mystery of the Carnival Caper, 1998, PC. Don those deer stalkers and get your magnifying glasses at the ready because Detective Barbie is back. Detective Barbie in the Mystery of the Carnival Caper follows Barbie as she investigates a strange situation at a charity carnival which has seen Ken disappear as part of a magician's trick, and unfortunately he's got all of the money with him. Now, the cynical amongst you might say him and the magician were in on it and he's just absconded with the cash, but this is Barbie land, and so of course there's a far more wholesome explanation. To find it though, players will have to point and click their way around the carnival to collect clues and determine the culprit, which changes on every playthrough in fact, so if the game does strike a chord, there's plenty of opportunity to play it over and over and over and over and over and over again. Yay, I can't wait! Critics did praise the game's graphics and premise, but they felt let down by the gameplay, because unlike traditional point and click titles, no problem solving was required, and players found themselves just waiting around for the game to progress. 
In short, the game was too simplistic for older children, but required far too much patience to engage the younger gamer. Anyway, I hope you're not sick of Detective Barbie just yet, because Ben has brought along… Number 16. Detective Barbie 2 The Vacation Mystery 1999 PC just a year after she solved the mystery of the carnival caper, Detective Barbie was back, only this time she, Ken, and computer whiz Becky were taking a vacation from sleuthing. Indeed, at the beginning of Detective Barbie 2 The Vacation Mystery, Team Barbie Detective decide that it's time for a break and head to an inn at Lighthouse Cove. Once there, however, they find that the historic hotel's antique jewels have been stolen and it's up to the trio to solve the crime. Not sure why a hotel would have a collection of antique jewels, to be honest, and the game kind of yadda yaddas over that part, but um, it needs solving, so let's go. Players must search the resort and look for clues, interrogate suspects, and solve puzzles in order to get to the bottom of this slightly bizarre situation. The Vacation Mystery enjoyed a marginally better critical reception than its predecessor, mostly because it actually gave players the opportunity to solve some puzzles. The graphics, animations, and story were also praised, though some critics did feel that the puzzles were a little too difficult for the young children that the game was aimed at. Jeez, the last one was too easy, now this one's too hard. It's just no pleasing some people. Number 15. Barbie Explorer 2001 PlayStation and PC if you were wondering your local game store back in 2001, you might have missed that this title is a Barbie game as its cover art is seriously lacking in the pink department. Still, a Barbie game it is, and as it happens, it's not a half bad one either. Debuting in North America in September 2001 before making its way to Europe in December of the same year, Barbie Explorer chronicles Barbie's adventures as she travels the world in order to find the missing pieces of an ancient mirror so that she can return them to her local museum. Gameplay consists of 3D platforming and puzzle solving, and while there are hazards which mostly take the form of animals that roam the levels, Barbie never engages in combat. It won't surprise you to hear that critics compared the game unfavourably to Tomb Raider, lambasting its controls, graphics, and lack of challenge. With that said, it wasn't without its fans, and some reviewers complimented the non-stop action and the similarity to Tomb Raider, suggesting that Barbie Explorer offered younger gamers a stab at a Tomb Raider-like experience without the difficulty and bits that might upset them. After all, that T-Rex is bloody scary. Number 14. Barbie as the Island Princess 2007 PS2, Wii, Game Boy Advance, DS, and PC. Were you getting worried that Barbie had doffed her fancy dresses and tiaras for good? Well, fret not, because she's back in another royal role in Barbie as the Island Princess. Based on the direct-to-video movie of the same name, and for our younger viewers, a video was a bit like a brick that played films. Barbie as the Island Princess sees an animal-raised Barbie learning that she's actually a princess. Think The Princess Diaries, but with more red pandas and fewer good actors. Yeah. The handheld versions of the game are somewhat different from the home console and PC versions, though thematically they're very similar, and as such we didn't want to bore you by putting them into their own entry. The main difference is that the home console version boasts a whopping 28 minigames, whilst the handheld editions have a pitiful 12. Despite this, both titles garnered a reasonable critical reception, and whilst the minigames themselves were derided for being a bit on the simple side and the handheld versions for being too short, reviewers didn't hate the game and were happy to recommend it to any Barbie fan who was in need of a bit of pink distraction. Number 13. Barbie and the Magic of Pegasus 2005 Game Boy Advance and PC you like horses? Good, because here's another one. And as a cheeky bonus, this one's got wings. Sadly, if you came into this entry hoping for lots of references to Greek mythology, then you're going to be a little let down, as beyond the winged horse, things are rather standard Barbie fare. Barbie and the Magic of Pegasus sees Barbie taking on the role of Princess Annika, who sets out on a quest to find the magical wand of light after an evil sorcerer turns the people of her kingdom to stone and her sister into the titular flying pony. In both the PC and Game Boy Advance versions of the game, players must complete mini games and solve puzzles in order to restore the kingdom and give malevolent wizard Wenlock what for. Critics were quite kind to the PC version of the game, and though some had reservations about the controls, which they felt might have been a bit too advanced for the 5-7 to seven year old demographic, most concluded that the title was an excellent way to introduce young players to video games. There wasn't much on offer for older players as the minigames were quite simplistic, but then again, the game wasn't aimed at them anyway, so we can hardly be mad at it for that. Number 12. Magic Fairy Tales Barbie as Rapunzel 1997 PC 
Originally published in the early 1800s by the Brothers Grimm, Rapunzel tells the story of a fair maiden with mightily long locks who is sealed in a tower by a sorceress and cast into the wilderness after she meets and agrees to marry a prince. Rapunzel gets pregnant, the prince is tricked by the sorceress, thrown from the tower into a thorn bush and blinded, and the pair are eventually reunited and raise their twins together. It's a real roller coaster of a tale. The Barbie version of this story, as depicted in Magic Fairy Tales Barbie as Rapunzel, is thankfully nowhere near as harrowing. The game, unsurprisingly, focuses on Rapunzel, who is trapped in a tower by an evil witch. One day, a prince rides by and the two make friends, which upsets the witch, and she curses him, leaving him to wander for the rest of his days, unable to find anywhere he's previously been. The storybook puzzler was reasonably well received by critics, who appreciated the simplistic puzzles and the humour added by the sassy magic mirror. The lack of difficulty settings was criticised, as reviewers felt that the absence of challenge narrowed the appeal, but all in all, it was a good way to introduce little ones to a classic tale without having to describe a man's eyes being gouged out by thorns. Number 11. Barbie Sparkling Ice Show 2002 PC If you've ever dreamed of becoming a world-class figure skater but your coordination is more Mr. Bean than Torval and Dean, then perhaps Barbie Sparkling Ice Show is the game for you. In this frosty little title, players get to join Barbie and her friends as they embark on a world ice skating tour. Design the girls' routines, choose the right music, and of course, select outfits for the skaters to wear. According to our friends at Moby Games, girls of all ages will have hours of fun with Barbie and her friends. And we can confirm that this statement may not be false, as our 31-year-old writer tried it and actually had a reasonably good time. Barbie Sparkling Ice Show garnered a very nice average review score of 69 out of 100, with critics praising its pretty aesthetic and gentle difficulty curve which gradually built up, allowing younger players to easily get to grips with it. It was lightly chastised for lacking content, but critics supposed that this might be fine for the target audience, i.e. children aged between 4 and 6 who probably wouldn't mind doing the same activity over and over again anyway. Number 10. Barbie Horse Adventures Blue Ribbon Race 2003 Game Boy Advance it's time for more horsing around now as we turn our attention to the second best Barbie horse adventures title, the Game Boy Advance exclusive Blue Ribbon Race. Rather than taking care of horses or even rescuing them, Barbie hops into the saddle in Blue Ribbon Race in order to participate in the Primrose Hill Cup. The game is comprised of eight different levels, which sees Barbie take part in a variety of activities, from racing to finding flowers, and over the course of the game she's able to unlock a whole bunch of new equine pals and a handful of mini-games. Oh, and there's also a dressing room for anyone who's interested in changing Barbie's outfit. Blue Ribbon Race received a rather good reception from critics, who were impressed by the graphics, level design, and the replayability of the mini-games, though they didn't have much in the way of praise for the controls, which they found to be frustrating all the game's short runtime. Overall, though, Blue Ribbon Race was a half-decent inaugural entry for the Barbie Horse Adventures series and a lovely little title for fans of equestrian activities and, um, floral theft? Number 9. Secret Agent Barbie Royal Jewel Mission 2002 Game Boy Advance. By this point, Barbie must have a CV with more pages than War and Peace, because there's seemingly no job that she hasn't done. For this Game Boy Advance outing, she's turning her hand to secret agent-ing and embarking on a mission to track down stolen gems, a quest that takes her all over the world. The gameplay in Secret Agent Barbie Royal Jewel Mission combines platforming, stealth, and puzzles, and as players progress through the levels, they'll uncover important clues that will ultimately lead to the villain behind the dastardly thefts. The stealth segments did catch a little flack from critics, who found that the mechanics weren't particularly well executed, but aside from that, reviews were generally quite positive. The levels were nicely designed, the graphics were colourful and eye-catching, and the controls worked well, except in the aforementioned sneaky sections. The game was considered to be simple enough for younger kids to grasp, but entertaining enough to keep older children interested, a balance which, as demonstrated by the previous titles on this list, is not an easy one to strike. Personally, I'd give it a 007 out of 10. That's a, that's a secret agent joke there for you. Very good. Peter? Number 8. Barbie Mermaid Adventure 2004 PC Well, from secret agents to the seaside now, Sorry, that was really forced. As we take a look at Barbie Mermaid Adventure, which was released exclusively for PC, oh for God's sake, in 2004. In Barbie Mermaid Adventure, the eponymous doll takes on the role of the titular mythical sea creature and plans a party with all of her underwater pals. Sadly, the magical light shell in the palace is broken and 
Barbie must enlist the help of three rainbow dolphins, each of which inhabit a different area of the sea. Oh no, that's just the word sea, sorry. In order to save the day, players must explore the ocean, find the three musicians in each level, and complete various mini-games before finally seeking out the aforementioned rainbow dolphins. This colourful game earned a fair reception from reviewers who felt that it was a decent title for children aged around three or four. The gameplay, whilst simple, was engaging, the minigames, though lacking in challenge, were diverse enough to hold a small child's attention, and the whole thing ran and controlled well. Some complained that the title was a bit on the short side, but in fairness, Barbie can probably only hold her breath for so long. Number 7. Barbie Generation Girl Got a Groove 2000 PC Remember that groove you had from earlier in the list? Well, you better have held on to it because it's not just me enforcing the rules anymore. Barbie is too. She literally says in the game title that you've got to groove. Hey, hey you there, I don't see you grooving. Barbie Generation Girl Got a Groove is somewhat similar in concept to the Barbie fashion show titles, only with the focus on dancing rather than haute couture. Players select dancers from Barbie's friendship group, dress them in appropriate attire, and then choose various dance moves in order to form a dance routine. Another title better suited to younger players, Barbie Generation Girl Got a Groove was praised for its audiovisual presentation, the inclusion of a number of popular characters, and the opportunities for creativity that it afforded to its audience. In addition, one reviewer applauded the game for encouraging young girls to interact with computers, which at the turn of the millennium was, relatively speaking, no mean feat. Older kids may have quickly gotten bored of the core gameplay loop here, but younger players would have had a wonderful time designing outfits for Barbie and her friends and choreographing dance routines. Actually, I'm not even young and that sounds quite fun. Number 6. Barbie Adventure Riding Club 1998 PC the second-to-last equine title to trot onto this list is 1998's Barbie Adventure Riding Club, yet another Barbie game that aims to give players the experience of owning and riding a horse. The main difference between this one and several of the others on this list, though, is that Barbie Adventure Riding Club is actually a reasonably competent game. Players start by choosing a horse for Barbie, and can then spend time grooming and feeding it before taking it out on the trails. Once they're comfortable with the controls, they can pit their horse against Barbie's friends in high-octane races, and should they get tired of horsing around, there are several mini-games to break things up a bit. Critics enjoyed the variety of the gameplay, the story, which saw Barbie searching for a mystery horse, and the simplicity of the controls and UI. Additionally, they directed praise towards the sound, as well as the status system, which encouraged players to go back to the game time and time again. Criticism was leveled at the game's graphics, though, which were a little janky even for 1998, but they weren't enough to detract from the game's… what does that say? Oh. Winnying formula. Awful. Just awful. Next! Number 5. The Barbie Diaries High School Mystery 2006, Game Boy Advance and PC It turns out that even Barbie isn't safe from the social perils of high school, as demonstrated by The Barbie Diaries High School Mystery. Barbie and her band, Charms, are getting ready for their school's Battle of the Bands competition when disaster strikes. Someone sends the girls threatening messages telling them to drop out or else, steals their their sheet music and ruins their stage. Unwilling to bow to the demands of terrorists, though, Barbie sets out on a mission to find the culprit, all while trying to keep her friendships intact. In order to gain the support of others, players must cultivate relationships with students by finding out their interests, holding conversations, and doing favors for them. Critics had plenty of compliments for High School Mystery, calling out its story, characters, and the social interaction elements of the game as reasons why it was worth playing. They also enjoyed the puzzles and minigames, as well as the graphics and sound, and praised the developers for presenting players with a less vapid version of Barbie. Complaints were really few and far between, and the main negative was simply the game's short runtime, which, in fairness, was probably only there to ensure that young kiddos didn't lose interest. Number 4. Secret Agent Barbie 2001 PC 
Whilst Secret Agent Barbie Royal Jewel Mission was quite good, it wasn't a patch on the original Secret Agent Barbie released for PC in 2001. In this action-adventure title, players join Barbie as she travels the world, attempting to stop the creation of an invisibility suit. In each of the game's five international locations, Barbie must complete a special mission, and each one will bring her ever closer to cracking the case wide open. Prior to each mission, players, of course, choose the right outfit for Barbie to wear, before embarking on quests that see them searching for clues, solving puzzles, and using stealth and gadgets to get past guards. Okay, so it's not exactly Metal Gear Solid, but it was a solid way to introduce youngsters to the genre. Critics found the action to be exciting, the puzzles challenging – well, certainly for the children the game was aimed at, at least – and were complimentary of the audiovisual presentation. Would experienced gamers have enjoyed the title? Probably not. But would newbies to the medium have a great time solving puzzles and saving the day? I'm afraid I can't tell you that. It's classified information. But yeah, they probably, they probably would have done, I think. Number 3. Barbie as the Princess and the Pauper, 2004, Game Boy Advance and PC. Oh yippee, it's another movie tie-in. I am positively filled with joy at the prospect. Although we are at number 3 in the list, so let's see what happens here. Based on the film of the same name, and loosely following the plot of Mark Twain's The Princess and the Pauper, Barbie as The Princess and the Pauper, as the title might suggest, sees Barbie taking on the roles of both the Princess Annalise and the Pauper Erica. By controlling four different characters – Annalise, Erica, Serafina, and Wolfie – players must thwart royal advisor Preminger's attempts to take over the kingdom by marrying the princess. Critics were relatively kind to the game, and though they agreed it was definitely a title that would appeal more to younger players, it wasn't without merit. The gameplay was simple to get to grips with, but still offered a certain level of challenge that might appeal to slightly older children, the puzzles were engaging but not obtuse, and the whole thing was nicely presented. They also praised the multiplayer, and whilst they were skeptical about the level of replay value on offer, they felt that it didn't harm the game overall. Clearly the developers knew their target audience, and the fact that they didn't attempt to appeal to a broader spectrum of gamers only served to work in the title's favour. Number 2. Barbie of Swan Lake – The Enchanted Forest, 2003, PC a bit of culture for you now, as Barbie dips her toe into the ballet and classical music pool with her take on Tchaikovsky's Swan Lake. In Barbie of Swan Lake – The Enchanted Forest, Barbie is charged with portraying Odette, who is preparing for a picnic with her unicorn friend Lila, when Lila accidentally removes all of the magic from the forest and gets stuck on an island in the middle of Swan Lake. Well done, Lila. By completing a series of mini-games, players can help Barbie to rescue Lila, restore the forest's magic, save the day, and be back in time for a nice slice of quiche and a scotch egg. Though it wasn't a title that players were going to go back to multiple times, Barbie of Swan Lake was considered to be a very competent game with an enticing story, fun mini-games, and puzzles challenging enough for its young audience. The title was a success, both as an entertaining video game and a way to get kids into computers, and though it bears about as much resemblance to the original Swan Lake as I do to Margot Robbie, it's still worth a look if you're a four-year-old looking to get into video games. Number 1. Barbie Horse Adventures Mystery Ride, 2003, PC Yes, it's a horse game, but according to our highly advanced and complex ranking algorithm, it's the absolute best game Barbie has to offer, and so we shouldn't hold its equine nature against it. Not that we would, but, you know, some might. Horse haters! Mystery Ride is the second game in the Barbie Horse Adventures series, having been released for PC just days after Blue Ribbon Race. The title sees Barbie searching for missing horse Lucky, an ironic name if ever there was one, who she must find so her owner can enter the big championship. By visiting nine different locations, Barbie can find clues, track down the horse thief, and reunite Lucky with her owner in time for the big horse show. Players take part in minigames, solve puzzles, and help locals to set up the show, and as these activities are completed, new areas will open up for Barbie to explore. Critics were impressed by the 3D gameplay, the variety of puzzles and minigames that were on offer, the colourful graphics, and the music and voice acting. 
According to Moby Games, Barbie Horse Adventures Mystery Ride has an average review score of 89%, which means that it is allegedly on par in the quality stakes with the likes of Borderlands 2, Demon's Souls, and the original Fallout. And I'm not one to argue with review scores, so we can only assume that this is the absolute truth. So, next time you're in the market for a game that's just as good as Resident Evil 2, but a bit more kid-friendly, why not try your hand at Barbie Horse Adventures Mystery Ride? It would have been nice to end on a horse joke here, but we've kind of run out of them. We did too many in one go earlier on. I think there were about three on the trot. Oh, oh, there we go. Brilliant. Fantastic. Well done, everyone. See you later.